All right, let's get this going. No, no longer. I worry about my health at the moment, and I just quit Cerberus after since uh, this was me starting over. That you can fight Chester, but I choose not to because there really is no reason to. But I will say something that he gets actually harder. And I have to go through here. I have Cerberus because I've heard the boss is very weak against Cerberus. But I'm not really that. But I'm gonna be the judge of that. most menacing boss in this game. Talk about force power. It's the demonic force huh? and buggy. Fair enough. I'm not I kid you not. I have to fight that thing. But this boss can should be taken seriously because he does a lot of jerk things. And one of them is he dashes out of the middle of nowhere. And he does that. Well it does work. Otherwise there wouldn't be those ice crystals. But that's one of the things that he does, he can slow down time. And I haven't gotten enough damage on this. I'm gonna have to use guns for the moment. That missed. The wheels on the buggy uh, block attacks. This is where the uh, horse and buggy come into its own, which isn't good. Yeah, I do screw up quite a bit with this boss because he charges like crazy and he shoots those things. And I should have been able to dodge those. And again. Okay, that means he stops momentarily. So he can hurt me, but I can hurt him back. Well, half his health is gone, but... Now those spears, those, if you get caught in those, they'll slow down time. Which means you'll move slower, like now. And he moves faster. I still think this is one of the most not so menacing bosses in video games. Though I know, though I know that fighting uh, the cat from Shadow Hearts and the uh, Shadow Hearts Covenant and uh, the mechanical cylindrical robot is another one. Still. Don't use your time crap on me. Too late. Yeah. 
great. Now when you get caught in those things, uh, usually they spawn arrows that hit you if you don't jump out of the way fast enough. Like now. I can dodge these. You know they're everywhere. Great. Gotta use an item. I know you probably complain at me for using items way too many times. Is that if you want to see me play through this, I'm gonna use items. And I'll play these time spheres or voids, time space, whatever. You're not going anywhere. Gotcha. Now you get something out of it. Come on, die. There we go. Sadly, it's not a new weapon, it's actually a new skill. It's called Quicksilver. And what it allows you to do, if the, if the cutscene shows, it basically allows you to slow down time. So you can pull off massive combos in battle, but. Consequently, uh, slowing down time costs a lot of magic. So, the only time I really used that was when I got the ultimate costume on uh, the uh, Super Legendary Dark Knight mode. And now I got out of here and we do get another cutscene. Knock, knock. Seed of Sparta. I told you that I remembered your righteous scent. No matter where you went, you could never hide from me. Oh, that's not good. You pissed off Virgil. It's the sun. You're not the one I faced before. But the smell. There are two of them. Wait for it. Bye bye. Wow, I'm very unlucky. And this will become pretty important. That is Beowulf 11. So, you don't start out with it, Virgil does. Though, I would say that actually Dante's better at it than Virgil because Virgil has very few combos with it. Okay, let's see how well I did. Ooh, pretty good. I'm gonna wrap up here and I'll see you later.